Hey, yo, 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 everybody. Generic B here, and welcome to a hermit's look at Clockwork Empires. And yes, your brain, your eyes are not deceiving you. This looks borky. The, the picture is not, uh, it's not full screen, and it's like doing this weird little like stretchy thing at the thing. This is a, another game that is in uh, early access on Steam. And uh, I have I have been watching this game for quite some time. I will say right now, it is not really ready for you guys to play. You can, you can buy it, uh, I think it's like 30 bucks, which is kind of a lot for what you get, but it's early access, you know how that goes. Um, I've been I've been following this game for a long time, and I really believe uh, that it's gonna it's gonna become a great game. It's one of those kind of like uh, you know timber and stone type ability games. Let's get right into it. Let's well, enough of this. Uh, I will give you fair warning that this is the game of the tiniest text known to mankind. Uh, so if you can't read it, I apologize. Um, there's also more text than really anybody would ever want to read aloud so <laughs> just know that this game has more detail in it uh, if you if you like lore and detail I'll give you examples of that but uh, we have two choices of colonies this is uh, an Aspen forest with grassland high prairie blah 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 um, or we can go to New Sogwood, which is tropical forest, savannas, um, there's jungle fowl and giant beetles and uh, fish people and stuff like that. So this is the one I'm going to pick because I've, I've played this game quite a bit because um, I wanted to love it. I wanted to make an LP on this. Um, it's loading up, takes a hot minute. Uh, I wanted to make an LP on this and I probably will once it gets to a good... A good stable point with with all the features that need to be in it but right now eh, not so much okay so um, I hate reading leave me alone this it'll run you through a little bit of a tutorial but I am gonna show you the tutorial all right so you get a bunch of these people um, oh I have to use the WASDs that's right um, you get a bunch of these people and check this out like you click on one and it tells you like their traits. So morbid obsession drives them to seek out death and decay. Normal people can find them hard to relate to uh, if they have any afflictions. If they are part of a work group. So that's kind of how you, you do here. So for example, um, right here we've got some rhyolite boulders. Uh, I'm going to actually... There's some food I want to grab. So you just do a little click and drag, and then you get options. You can chop down the trees, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to forage, and that will send people to go and collect all the little coconuts and whatnot. And at the same time, I am going to... Oh, I think, I, I think I'm paused here. Uh, is it space? There we go. All right, so off they go to go do their, their things. There's a fish person <laughs> already. So they're gonna shoot at some fish people. It's it's awesome that you can click on or uh, select this guy, butcher the fish person, so someone will turn that into meat. And then you could do stuff like uh, you could select all this guy and say chop down the trees. Um, and then there's a lot of like rocks and stuff like that. So you could say mine surface nodes, so that'll get all these rocks. Uh, mine knows with a shovel, and that'll get that clay. So tons of really cool stuff. They will, oh, there's another fish man. Get him! And butcher the fish people. Uh, so, what you do is you kind of clear a little space. This is your colony, and every once in a while, the queen or, you know, whatever, however that goes, will give you some, uh, the, uh, the option if you want some more resources, if you're kind of like having a hard, hard time. Um, and, uh, oh yeah, sure enough, there we go. But what we want to do is let's make, uh, let's see, zones. We're going to make a stockpile. And you can see where you can build it and where you can't build it. We're just going to build a stockpile right like that big old stockpile. You can then click on it and you can, kind of like Stone Hearth, you could say, I don't want food and drink on here or what have you. Uh, but we're just going to put everything on there. That way they they will automatically move. And it's kind of that uh, 
uh, dwarf fortress, dwarven fortress uh, type thing. You can't individually control somebody. You just kind of give, uh oh, who, who shoot? Yeah, get that guy. Shoot him, shoot him down. And get butchered. <laughs> food, food, food for days. Uh, so that is the, that is how that business works. Um, okay, there's a foul. So what we do now is we'll go up into work crews and you can see these are like, you can set them to do specific tasks if you want. So for example, these guys, Mr. Golden Hat Hooks Tasteful Lugs, uh, we can say enable hunting and then select around here and we can say hunt animals. And so this group will then, uh, if they're not doing anything else, they will go off and hunt animals. So it's really cool. Uh, and so we're gonna build our first, first little house. So let's get this out of the way. Um, but I mean, check this out. Like if I click on this person, oh, come on, show me, show me, aha. Uh -huh. See, they, they've got traits, adventurous, easily influenced, reclusive, and then all of this like memory. She saw a horrible fishy creature, the likes of which she had never seen before. She bid fond farewell to loved ones before joining the colonies. She was angered by a conversation about something strange she heard about uh, lately. She had a conversation about the hardships of the middle class lately. Like, they're trying to make, the oh, there's another dude. They're trying to make this game really, really in depth. And I think that that's awesome. Like, I, once I get this going, and there's some really odd stuff. Oh, okay, so, uh, like if I, he's bringing the chicken that he cut. So if I do a little thing like that, um, and then I can say forage for some more food because there's a bunch more food. All right, let's build something, shall we? Uh, we're gonna go over here to the buildings and the first thing we wanna build is a carpentry workshop. And you don't have to make these things super huge. You can just go a little something like that. Ought to work. Yep, so we hit done. And then, so that's where that will get built. And then it, I, these are the modules that you would need for a carpentry shop. So we'll put a lower class door. So you can just put them wherever you want around the edge. I'm gonna put it right here. Uh, and then a loading bay door so they can move stuff back and forth. Uh, a carpenter's workbench. Actually, I'm gonna put a power saw in there first because the power saw, saw is kind of big. And then how do I do? Right click, yeah, right click. Get the power saw where we want it. Um, a standing desk. We'll put a standing desk right there. And a carpentry workbench. We will put right like that. Okay, so we should be out of there. Now. And you'll notice they're bringing in the logs to start building the thing. This should happen. We'll just close that all out. They'll do that as they go. Um, all hail the formation. Uh huh, uh huh. And beginning of day two, so we made it to day two. And you can just go through, like, see, here's this girl. She's foraging things. There's another one. She's foraging. So, so they're just making life happen. Uh, these seem like, oh yeah. So now we got that. It's getting built. Uh, these seem to be a pretty good type of, uh, let's, let's chop it down. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And we'll chop down these guys. Perfect. So we'll get a little bit of tropical hardwood from there. This is getting all sorted out. Uh, ooh, we gotta butcher that dude. And then even, I mean, it's got like the coolest little things like this. Orange cup fungus. And so we can forage those. Hello? There we go. Oh, uh, uh, no. Forage. There we go. So that'll get foraged. They gave us some bricks and stuff to start off with. Um, you can, right up here is the building view, so you can see inside if you wish. I kind of like that view so we can see how things are going. 
So they've made the door, they've made this. Uh, now they're gonna work on the power saw and the other things. Now, uh, the next one I wanna make is a kitchen. Uh, so we'll take this kitchen, we will design that. The kitchen does not take much at all either. Let's just put it like maybe right like there. Kitchens can be tiny. Boom, like that. And then it automatically shows you the stuff that you need for the kitchen. Now you can hit all the rest of the furniture and, and uh, decor and stuff like that, um, but it's not it's not really a requirement. Um, that's just like, these are the ones you have to put in, to my knowledge anyway. So we'll put in a kitchen table. Uh, these little sto uh, stoves are important, so we'll put a stove here and a small oven. Can I wiggle you around the way I want you to be wiggled? Wiggle, get wiggled. No, I can put, put you right there though. I'm happy with that. Um, some hanging pots. Put them right there and a spice out rack. We'll put it maybe right next to it. Boom. So we've got everything I need. Workbench, that, 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 yes. So now that one will be, that one will start working. Um, you'll notice these guys will by default go in and start sleeping indoors if uh, if they have a choice. Hey, ki kill that dude. Oh, this one says your colony may receive immigrants. Usually that'll show up over on the on the right that you can uh, you could do that. You can say, yep. Hey, hey, get them, get them, would you? Where'd my people? Oh, and then the last thing I need to do, oh, they're all sleeping. Oh well, that's fine. Uh, you can click on the workshop and you assign this to a work group. So for example, like if I look at the, the work crew, I can go, well, let's see, Mrs. Iron Tars. Yep, we got these guys hunting. Uh, any of them look kind of cool. Due to full saws, sure, let's do that one. And so what I would do here is like maybe disable farming, disable, no, I won't have them disable forestry, disable mining jobs. And so that'll probably be it. So we'll have Mr. Soddersworth's dutiful saws, boom. And we can say production queue. We can go, yeah, 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 yeah. Make us up a bunch of these guys when you get a chance. Kaboom. Because we'll need those for things like that. The workbench, we need, uh, we need planks for the workbench. This guy, we need some stuff, uh, which apparently either we don't have yet. Oh, here we go. What's that over here? Kitchen worker, kitchen needs a work party. Oh, we had a tragic death. Must have been that uh, fish man must have, must have killed the dude. That's okay. <laughs> uh, I have, uh, yeah, yeah, that's what we needed. Shoot on him, man. Kill, crush, kill, destroy. Yeah. It's, it's got that, like, uh, I wanna say, Lovecraftian type of vibe to it? Am I wrong? I might not be wrong here. Uh, we're gonna forge those little cups and caps. Um, I am, oh, here we go. Supply drop. Uh-huh. Um, I need materials to build workshops. So then they will drop that off somewhere. Chances are around in here. Oh, there's another one of those dudes. Butcher the fish, people. Um, I should, I should have had whatever, whatever that little widget was I needed. I should have had that already. I don't know why. I don't know why I didn't. Oh, but this thing, they're producing the, the planks. So that's happening. So we got that going on. Okay, good. So then this will get made. Um, the next thing we could do is we could make some beds for these guys. But honestly, since this is a hermit's look, uh, I probably won't do that. Uh, what else? Let's go exploring a little bit. If we 
say, chop down that guy. That'll open that up a little bit. Um, if we say, clear that guy, we'll, we may be able to see a little something something. And chop down you. It would be cool if I could show you guys the giant beetles. Because the giant beetles are... Oh yeah, you can see where my guy ran. And there's malachite nodes. Oh, what are you? Another fish person. Oh, there's a beetle. I seen you. Hunt animals. There he is. So there's a giant beetle. I don't know if we'll be able to see it. Oh, what are you doing with that? He's eating it. That was the human. That was people food. They call it like uh, some kind of weird ham <laughs> in this in this thing. All right, let's forge that. That'll help. There he is. There they are. Check them. Hunt animals. Get hunted. Hunt you too. Can't. They don't know what that one is. Get hunted. Oh, I guess they're already pegged. There's another one. Isn't that awesome? Like I said, tons of stuff. Of, uh, you know, that we can, uh, that you could do. I, let me run through and show you. Okay, yeah, so this is going, let's get a work crew on here. Um, I don't think it really matters, to be honest. Let's just go with these guys. And then because we have, you can see all the ingredients of stuff. So we have a bird, so we could cook four of those guys. Um, we probably have some fish person steak. <laughs> so we cook three of those. Is that guy butchered? Now you are. Uh, bucket of molasses, if we had some sugar cane, it looks like. But we also have pickled oh here we go white fungus and orange fungus one two three one two three and what will happen is these are better sources of food um and so like you could just eat straight up you know coconuts or what are these things anyway grated coconuts yeah you could just straight up eat coconuts or you could make a coconut curry if we had oh that's another thing oh let's make that's what we're missing here. Zones, uh, farm, let's make a little farm. That is what we are missing. Oh, dude, there's another one of those stinking things. I'm gonna make the farm right, I'm gonna make a couple of them. I'm gonna make a farm like that. And I think I click on it and say, grow sugar cane. And then we'll do one more. Like, oh no, you know what I'll do? No, no, uh, no, don't do it, there we go. Click on that, I'll go, was it back up here? Huh? Did I do, did I do the same? It's a little hard to figure out. Can I, screw it, <laughs> that's not the same. That's fine. And I'll do a chili pepper there. Uh, and so we can, I don't know, chili, chili pepper's fine. Uh, people will by default, oh yeah, look, you can see birds been cooked. I'm on mom. Oh, looks like I've uh, maybe messed up my stockpile a little bit. But yeah, that's the basic gist of things. Um, let me run you through the other stuff we could do. Uh, you can make a graveyard, of course. Uh, to bury your dead, so we can make a little little guy there. And that's where the dead would be. Um, under buildings, right now, there's carpentry, kitchen, ceramics workshop, a refinery, metal works, lower class home, middle class home, upper class home, arsenal, a brewery, a chemist shop, and then under the modules, if we just say all modules, uh, does that, yeah, yeah, so all the modules, bookshelves, bureaucrats, cabinet, fancy bookshelf, middle class table, mechanical brewing tank, steam radiator, I mean just, there's so much progression on here, there's cots, bureaucrats, desks, um, 
and it definitely you go through the uh, you go through the the phases of okay we were foraging now look at these people they're going to town hey get put your <laughs> now they're making actually we probably need to clear this leafy green shrub Not in my... oh yeah and see there's a sugar cane plant maybe we get rid of these gibbs you just got gib quake style see look and he's bringing in the the uh the orange fungus takes out the fungus jam so there's a lot of progression on this. You start off small and eventually you'll take these, uh, you know, you take the cube of clay and you turn it into bricks or, you know, ceramic items. You can take the, uh, take the metals that you mine and turn it into different types of things, guns and whatnot, weapons to protect yourself. It's really good, but there is some definite bugs in it. Uh, like last time I played, uh, all of my people died of starvation. Uh, because they would do stuff like they would say I'm hungry. Oh great example. Oh No, okay. They would pick it up look at it Put it back down pick it up look at it put it back down pick it up look at it put it back down And then it had a little house with some beds and they would just sit at the beds going I'm so tired and I was like laying in the stupid bed and then they're like I'm really tired and now I'm really really hungry and then they just died and that's what happened to the last egg. So definitely some bugs to work out. Let me know if this is something you guys would be interested in um, as a series once it gets into a more stable, uh, a stable thing. But that is it for today. Hope you enjoyed. If you are interested in this, Steam Early Access called Clockwork Empires. But until next time, take care. Brush your hair. I'll see you when I see you. Peace.